Cheers YouTube, it's the Herbie Sage, we are back with episode 3 of the Hardcore Iron Man Progress series. And what we're doing now is we've got 5 medium caskets. We are here in Swamp Lettuxville in the middle of Mortania at the Ecto Functus. And we've got 44 prayer about to hit 45. And a bigger deal, 1500 total level. We're getting ready to swap worlds for the first time to a 1500 total and there's a 45 prayer we have mystic might it's kind of like like what the ranged eagle eye is but the biggest deal 1500 total level unlocked hop over to our world switcher world 420 it's just so you know if you're ever looking for me the herbie sage i will be in my home world world 420 from now on you can rely on me being here unless i'm world hopping for something but now that we're here in world 420 what do these caskets have for us hopefully it's good luck welcome to the world medium caskets Not so good. <laughs> That's I'll take cash. Oof. Oh, this is World 420's last casket, the fifth casket. A Bandos Miter. Oh. All right. So I got I got a unique, a unique. Man, I could ask for better uh, better medium clues, but it is what it is. Welcome to episode three. Let's hop right into the progress scripts. Progress clips from here. Man, the English language is tough. Thank you for the support. It's the Herbie Sage. If you haven't already smashed that like button, go straight ahead and do it. Even if you don't like me, it supports my channel. Thank you. We're here at the East Botters Bank, about to open up a medium casket. Ooh, I will take an ancient stole. I kind of like that. Let me get my purple tie on. Let me see this. I need a prayer level of 60. We'll check back at 60 to, to see how well the, the purple tie looks. <laughs> uh, well, it's unique. At the Theater of Blood with another medium casket. I think this is like 17 or 18. 17? not too much hopefully we're gonna we're gonna get some decent clues I think I'm gonna grind out a few more clues try to get some pages take a sidestep of uh, fletching and questing I know I need to go and do monkey madness and legends quest but the weather hasn't been good lately so I just gotta ride it out and do other things so 84 strength almost 84 HP 86 ranged and gonna be doing some clue scrolls that's the current plan Got a medium casket coming in on the hardcore. And pest control teleports. I mean, eh, okay. Alright, that's the 20th medium casket for my hardcore account. There's a big team here, the Theater of Blood. So, with everybody here, what do we get on casket 20? By the way, no matter what. I'm going to move on to hard clues after this. I'm going to start doing, uh, like, dragon bones, but... Casket 20. <sighs> Nothing special. Alright, it's not a big deal. We're going to move on to uh, hard clues and blue dragons for a little while. And then we're going to do the quests that we swore we were going to do. But, you know, nobody ever wants to do quests. Cut me some slack, will ya? Cheers, YouTube. This is my first stream live clip, so if you're not tuned into the stream, then you didn't see it live, but hey, YouTube's going to get it too. I got every single monkey, Grigri, zombie monkey, crimesy monkey, ninja monkey, gorilla Grigri. I am set to do recipe for disaster, set to run the 8 bats all agility course. That is what I'm talking about. I'm the hardcore, by the way. Oh, here we go. Another live clip coming in. YouTube, if you're seeing this, this happened live on stream. If you weren't here, then, well, you missed it. Feel free to tune in at twitch.tv slash the Herbie Sage. The link is in the description down below. 
But uh, yeah, this fight's long overdue. Like, way long overdue. I don't know what took me so long. I mean, it's only level 195. Doesn't really do any damage as long as you have protect and you range it. I don't know. Just didn't really have much of a reason to go ahead and do this. Damn, my crystal bow is just like degrading. Oh, shit. Hey, pro tip don't talk to Garcor. He's kind of a dick. Teleports you someplace that you don't want to go. So you can just teleport yourself out. I mean, the demon's dead. You did your job. <clears throat> that was the boss fight. Another live clip coming in. So if you're on YouTube, then I'm sorry you just didn't see it live, but that's okay. You're watching it now. So we're here on a bat hall once again. Finish the monkey madness, like we said, and now we're trying to get our borrows gloves but step by step this is the king wagi sub quest our snake is stuffed but we have a raw stuffed snake we're trying to cook this snake so let's check back in and see if we fail well i forgot to hit record and we are back again another live clip shamelessly plugging myself all over but you're gonna take my word for it we did not fail the snake so or you can check back on my stream if you want to look at my vods but yeah stuff snake first try here we go i should wear my monkey i have to wear my monkey speed game before i feed him excuse me guys excuse me we're just gonna fast mo through this damn now we have to learn how to do like fast mo i just put this away too i'll speed this up i will fast forward i keep saying fast forward fast forward holy shame all right we're back again let's try this Give the snake to a Wawawagi. Roasted stuff snake. Oh, he's teaching us the Ape Atoll spell. Cool. Good for him. Now we can teleport to Ape Atoll. Ten thousand cooking experience, ten thousand agility experience, teleporting, and rune gloves. I still have to do Sir Amikvars for the dragon, and then the Colrinomancer for the Barrows. But another step along this long road completed. Thank you guys for being there. Well, it's been a long time that I've been holding on to this this beautiful D long. I've held my D long for so much time now, but. I've done Monkey Madness. There's nothing stopping me from using the Dragon Scimitar. I believe that's a full-on upgrade. The Dragon Scimitar is faster. It's a speed. Yeah, it's a it's a four-speed compared to a five-speed. Dragon Scimitar definitely is a uh, a better weapon. Oh, if if you got the full-on comparison here, 66 strength to 71 strength. 69 slash to 67 slash. And you get defensive bonuses with the Dragon Longsword. So the Dragon Longsword really isn't a bad weapon, except for the fact that it's slower. And slower is, uh, slower is the problem. So here we are. Dragon Scimitar. Moving on. It's, uh, it's been a, it's been an era. It's like a new era for the Hardcore Iron Man. The, 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 the D-Long era is over. Emotion. It has actually been a few days since I've recorded a clip, and that is because I've been training my range levels. And here we are, as I hit a zero, and here we are, 90 ranged on the hardcore. I'm considering this my qualifications for doing raids. I have 90 ranged, I can go into a raid now, but I still need that rune crossbow. This is pretty bad that I've done this on nothing but void and a Dorgishin crossbow. I actually got a hard clue from Maple Trees. And I completed it. So here we are with a hard casket. I've got the Theater of Blood crew behind me. Let's uh let's see what we get in this hard casket. 
Oh, magic short bow. That's huge. That's huge. The blue dragon mask is kind of neat. I don't know if it's a cosmetic, but magic short bow. I needed a magic short bow. I can imbue a magic short bow. Oh my god, that's a new best in slot ranged weapon. I'm 90 ranged. <laughs> that saves me from having to get 80 fletching. Oh, hard caskets are so huge. Oh my god. Oh, coming in on the hardcore. And 66 fletching. There we go. I can now make adamant darts. That's actually a huge deal. And after many, many days of long, long grinding, I am finally going to be able to fletch myself a rune crossbow. But in hindsight, I could have got the rune at limbs already. I haven't got them. So, hopefully the next clip is me at Aviancy's cheering about some runic limbs. But that is 69 sex number fletching. Unit, uh, unit, runic crossbows. <sighs> Rune crossbow bolts. Oh, man, I definitely don't have a smithing for that. But, here we go. It's, it's another, another huge step in the journey. Rune crossbow, coming in with a big, big progress step on the hardcore. Whew. I'm excited. I just want to take a quick moment to admire this sweet Iron Man setup I've got going into God Wars Dungeon. Oh, hey. What's going on, Miles? Well, nice timing, dude. Oh my god, huge pog. Runic limbs on the ground. That didn't even take long at all. I think I, that was like 10 kills. Like, out two rune daggers. Got a yeah, dude. Oh my god. Wasn't even prayer flicking. That is runic limbs. Let's let's just get out of here. Let's oh my god. That's what I came here for. I got it. I'm done. Oh, that rune crossbow that's that's being made right now. Here it is, the moment of truth. We got our Sanu. Runic limbs. Crossbow stock. I need a hammer. You know. This this sums up RuneScape in a uh, in a nutshell right here. Let me just go back, get my hammer, get the angle right all over again. Here we go. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Unit crossbow unstrung. Sanu on the crossbow. I need to spin the Sanu into a string first. You know what? Let's hang out, boys. Let's hang out for a second, because like I said, this is RuneScape in a nutshell. <laughs> but I'm right here. It's no big deal. Sanu on the spinning wheel. It's just another small step for the Rune Crossbow. And here we are coming in with another Slayer level. And I got a Brimstone key on this task. I'm appreciating it. This Rune Crossbow and these Steel Bolts are really doing it. Can't wait to upgrade the Bolts, but only 52 Slayer. The road to 55 is here. Oh, I forgot I got Jellies at 52. I can do Hard Clues, like, easy now. <sighs> I'm excited. It's, it's, I keep saying I'm excited, but I am just that excited. I am really looking forward to this, uh, this, this journey. Oh, thank you guys for being here. Um, if you're seeing this, please go to the comment section and tell me how in the hell I got a cut Dragonstone drop on my last kill on a Konar task. I've never, ever, ever received a cut Dragonstone. I'm not wearing a Ring of Wealth. What the hell drop table did I just hit? I am mind blown. I, I, I gotta look into this, but, uh, did I just hit some, like, one in a million drop? <sighs> Let me know. Drop down in the comment section. Tell me if you've ever gotten a, uh, cut dragonstone drop. That This is, uh, mind blowing. Well, that fire giant task got me, uh, three keys, so we're just gonna do a quick brimstone opening. 
63k cash, I like it. Some iron ore, I mean that's not the end of the world, it saves me a little bit of time. 32 diamonds. I'll take those. Some diamond bolties there. Alright, not, not bad keys, not bad keys. Actually managed to complete a hard clue from one of my tasks, so what do we get? Another magic short bow. Ooh, an ancient coif. A couple alcables, but an ancient coif. I will take it. An imbued slayer helm's probably better, but it doesn't matter. I mean, you can't use a slayer helm for everything. Whew, the only thing I need now is some dehyde chaps, and I am range set up. Love all these big ancient items coming in. Clue scroll items. Whew, and 53 slayer, two to go. And got another level coming in. Just killing some fire giants here in the Corulum Slayer Dungeon. Top level, which is weird because you go in from the top, but then you climb to the top. It's kind of backwards if you ask me. But either way, that is 54 Slayer. One to go from Blast Mask. Oh, wait, I have to get 58 for Black Mask anyway. You know, these realizations hurt. So, I was actually watching the new, like, RAR Glink Ocarina PvP Vorkath video and totally missed getting the level, but hey, my Slayer level is now 55. Technically, I can use a Slayer Mask, but, uh, you know, that's what happens when you're an Iron Man. You gotta wait till you're 58 and kill cave floors, but broad ammunition, that is the big deal. And Turrots. I guess I can get a sign Turrots now, but oh my god, I can go get Broad Bolts. They're just like Addy. Fire them out of my new rune crossbow. Man, I think this is it, though. From here, I'm going to go get a Fire Cape, and there's so much more I can do. Oh my god. I think I'm going to stop Slayer and go get a Fire Cape, like, now. Just a moment of discovery here. I do not have Broader Fletching. And I am only 40 points away from broader fledging. <sighs> I'm finished the Slayer task. Then I'm gonna get broad bolts. <sighs> Rip. Alright, that fire giant task is done. 50 tasks in a row, by the way, and that's why you want to do your 10th uh, task at Konar right there. Get a solid 270 points for 50. Um, I actually forget what the other one was for the multiplier for 10 with Konar. But anyways, oh, rewards not trade, broader fletching, unlocked. It's a big 300 points, but that is a huge amount of cheap, adamant, comparable ammo. Whew. I have renewable ammo on my hardcore iron, man. I, you know, I don't know what I'll say about that. That's just, that's just such a big deal. It's, you know, big gains. Big gains on the hardcore coming in. Here we are at the end of episode 3 of my hardcore Iron Man series. Now, my problem is I recorded like 20 minutes worth of content. So even with cutting it all down and the editing, I have a very, very long episode 3. I think next time I'm going to do a much smarter decision and just cut the video sooner and release two videos instead of one. That way you guys get the content faster, I put it out a little faster, and it's, it's much more easier to watch in one session. I prefer 10 minute videos myself, so I try to keep it right around the 10-12 minute mark. But anyways, thank you for being here. This has been episode 3 of my Hardcore Iron Man series. I'm looking really forward to seeing you guys in episode 4. I'm not really going to plan out what I have to do with episode 4. Right now, I am trying to get as much prayer as I can get to get to 70 prayer, do the Mortania Hard Diaries, and probably complete Barrows, because I really want to spend a lot of time at Barrows. And somewhere in there, i got to kill Jed. So... We're going to figure this out, get a Slayer helmet, finish Borrow's gloves, there's so much to do still, so much, and this is all just leading up to Raids 1, I got to get my 1KC twist, Twisted Bow, Twisted Bow, I swear every video I mess up a word, but thank you for being here, drop a like and subscribe because I have to shamelessly plug myself, no one else is going to do it, and I hope to see you next time, cheers.